Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Tagging. Consider this scenario. You have multiple cloud resources. For example, compute instances, load balancers, and block volumes across multiple compartments in your tenancy. It is becoming increasingly hard for you to track resources used for specific purposes, report on them, or take bulk actions on them. Does this sound familiar? Say, for example, you tag the instances in a compartment. It will be easier for you to track those instances. Absolutely. In fact, sometimes I add PHX Project 42 RCK 21 FED to a title of a compute instance to remind myself of its purpose. Is there a way to organize resources more efficiently? Certainly. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Tagging System allows our customers to tag resources in any organizational scheme that they choose, which allows them to more richly organize, control, manage, and report on their cloud resources. The service enables users to filter, control access, and perform bulk actions on a set of resources based on the tag. Tagging allows you to define keys and values and then associate them with resources to make it easier for you to organize these resources based on your business needs. By creating and applying tags, you can filter lists of resources tagged with specific tags from any service that supports tagging. Interesting. What exactly is a tag? A tag is a key and a value. Let's consider an instance. Where environment is the key and production is the value. In the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Tagging System, the key and value are strings without any constraints, which is supported with freeform tags. But we also support defined tags where the key and value have a schema. Freeform tag, a basic metadata association that consists of a key and a value only. Freeform tags have limited functionality. Freeform tags do not have any constraints or defined schema. Anyone who has access to a resource can use freeform tags. You can filter lists on freeform tags, but you cannot use freeform tags for policy or access control. Define tag. These tags have a defined schema, which constrain the values you can apply to a tag. You can also restrict access to defined tags, a defined tag is the instance of a key definition that is applied to a resource. It is comprised of a namespace, a key, and a value. The term tag is used generically to refer to defined tags. Freeform tags are a great introduction to tagging, but we recommend defined tags for enterprise scenarios. Before you create a defined tag key, you first set up a namespace for it. I see. What is a namespace? The namespace is like a container for a set of defined tags. Unlike freeform tags, defined tags support policies. The namespace is the entity to which you can apply policies. Namespace consists of a name and zero or more tag key definitions. Tag namespaces are not case sensitive and must be unique across the tenancy. Let me explain with an example. In the example, human resources is the namespace, environment is the tag key, and production is the tag value. Tag key definition. A tag key definition defines the schema of a tag and includes a namespace and tag key, tag value. The tag value specifies the value for the key. Tag key is the name you use to refer to the tag. Tag keys are case-insensitive printable ASCII. Tag keys for defined keys must be created in a namespace. A tag key must be unique within a namespace. Can I tag all my resources? We do support most resources. We believe the power of tags are unleashed when most resources are taggable. 
Let me provide you a list on which resources do support tagging. Under the Block Volume Service, Volumes and Volume Backups support tagging. Under the Compute Service, Instance, Instance Image, Console Histories, and Volume Attachments support tagging. Under the Database Service, DB Systems and Databases support tagging. Under the IAM Service, Groups, Compartments, Tenancy, Policies, and Identity Providers support tagging. Under the Load Balancing Service, Load Balancers support tagging. Under the Object Storage Service, Buckets support tagging. We are always working to add the ability to tag more resource types. That's a detailed list. Thank you. How can I set up tagging for my tenancy and tag my resources? Tagging is a platform service and available to all tenants by default. You can tag resources by using the console. You can use the command line interface to apply tags to resources, or you can use SDK to automate the management of tags. Tags can also be applied when creating resources. Can all users modify or remove a tag that has been applied to a resource? Not all users can manage tags. Tagging integrates with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Authorization System. Only if you have use or manage access to the tag namespace and the resource can you add or remove or edit the tag on that resource. Tagging integrates with our authorization system, giving you policy controls to enable delegation or restriction of tag manipulation. Permissions to apply, update, and delete freeform tags to a resource are included in the use permission for the resource. For example, users who can use instances in compartment testing can also apply, update, or delete freeform tags on instances in compartment testing. Permissions to apply, update, or delete defined tags for a resource means users must be granted the use permission for the defined tag and must also have the use permission for the resource. Permissions to view freeform tags or defined tags for a resource are included in the inspect permission for the resource. So, users who can view instances in compartment testing can also view any freeform tags or defined tags applied to the instance. Based on the permission specified by an IAM policy, you can update only that specific tag or a tag namespace. As mentioned earlier, you can only retire a tag key definition. If you retire a tag key definition, then the tag key and definition may not be used on new resources. However, if you have current resources with those tags, they will continue to retain the same tags. You will have to individually remove the tags from all existing resources. Are there any specifications for creating tags? Yes, only specific characters are allowed for tag namespaces and keys. Allowed character set, printable ASCII letters. Not allowed character set, dot and space, tag value. Allowed character set, Unicode. Not allowed character set, none. A namespace's name must be unique in the tenancy. Here is the table that shows minimum and maximum limits. The maximum size of all the tags on a resource may be 5 kilobytes. Thanks for the exhaustive overview. Tagging makes managing resources simple. I can filter tagged resources using the status equal to critical and the project equal to 51 tags to find which resources are essential to that project and take action only on those resources. Very well said. By using defined tags, you can prevent the accidental sprawl of many similar but misspelled tags. In total, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure provides a robust way to control and govern the use of tags. Tagging is a powerful foundational service for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure because when all instances and services can be tagged, 
That allows administrators to write comprehensive management scripts and policies based on their own organizational structure that they define by tags. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.